Pioneer. Yo, what is going on guys? EJ here, bringing another Lord of the Rings Rise of the War video. Today guys, I've got another breakdown video of the new information for you guys. We're going to be looking at all the new skills and stats of all the new troops that are going to be added into the game. Um, and the units or neutral units and such, so let's get into it. So we're going to kick things off first with the werewolf, the new unit, the werewolf guys. So if you can now see on the screen, it is going to be a tier 4 unit. Um, its units per command are going to be 2. It is an attack type of melee. Now its damage is going to be between 700 and 800 with an HP of 2100 and 120 defense. Uh, really good speed of 150 and pretty quite decent siege at 250 as well. I can understand why their units of command are just at 2 because that's some pretty crazy stats there. As we can see, it's going to cost a lot of gold. Um, a 34 minute and 30 second per 2 werewolves. So, um, and a lot of food there with the um, resources in command to build them. But as you can see, they have a bunch of skills here. Now, it has four skills there. Now, I don't know if they're going to have four or if one of them is going to be because it's an elite unit um, and it's going to intertwine with that elite stuff, but we'll um, look into that in a second. So, as you can see now, guys, we have the first uh, skill here, which is called Unnatural Presence, and it says that it's going to um, receive plus 50% focus damage, um, and against mounted units and beasts, damage received minus 40%. Um, so it's pretty cool with the focus damage there. It's sort of like with werewolves how they're affected by like silver and magic and stuff So that's pretty cool The next um, skill we have is furious swipes. It inflicts an additional 50% physical damage So I'm um, doing some extra physical damage in there Next we have bloodlust which prioritizes attacking units affected by bleed um, So um, that's quite um, interesting as well and then we have the last one here, which is Natural Power, which damage received minus 30% when battling on non-structured land. I think that this skill here, the fourth one, is because it's like an elite unit and it's working with that kind of stuff. So I think this is um, to do, this is the tier 3 um, version of the elite training that I talked about in the other video. I could be wrong, but I do remember seeing things about natural power and stuff like that and seeing this kind of stats. Um, but yeah, don't, um, that's what I'm thinking because I've never seen any units before. So yeah, just keep in mind, it's possibly going to be three and not four. The four one's gonna do with the elite unit. Moving on guys, the second unit for the evil side is going to be the cold drake. Now, the Cold Drake is also going to be a tier 4 unit, and it's going to be one unit per command with the attack type of melee. Um, as you can see there, their damage range from 11 to 1200 with 6000 HP, 110 defense, 110 speed, and 2500 seed. Um, they're quite the same as well with 10,350 gold. Uh, takes around the same time as the werewolves. And um, the other conscriptions cost, yeah, it's pretty high to say the least on all of them. Now, moving on to the Cold Drake skills, we have our first one here, which is Devour. Which is, says here, against all large units, damage dealt plus 50%. Enemies cannot recover HP when being healed. Now, we don't have a lot of large units, but um, that could be very interesting if you're playing non-roleplay servers. Which are available, guys, in the new Season 5. The next skill is called Dragon Skin, which uh, burn damage received minus 60%, so that's very interesting. Uh, we don't really do a lot of fire damage over on the good side, but if you're playing evil on evil versing uh, Witch King and stuff like that, uh, quite interesting. Uh, the next one is Scaly Protection, which its defense plus 50%. Effect expires after 10 instances of damage, pretty self-explanatory there. And then, as you can see, we have Natural Power once again here, guys. Um, which I think is probably going to be to do with the Elite Unit Training again, but I could be wrong. But we'll see what happens. Moving on to the Good Side Unit. The first one is the Spirit of the Wood. Now, they look like female Ents, to say the least. So, they're going to be 50 per command and an attack type of range. 
Their damage is ranging from 65 to 75. That's really good, guys. That's like up there with the March Wardens. HP of 70 with 15 defense. Speed of 75 and very low siege at 5. Their hiring costs are definitely a lot lower than the evil side that we've seen so far. And a lot less on the gold. And quite quicker at 23 minutes. Moving on to the skills. The first one we have here is the Premortal Force, which normal attacks deal 100% focus damage. So these guys are going to be really good um, putting them with your focus commanders, like your Gandalf the Greys and Whites, for example. Moving on, our second skill is Nature's Will, which poison damage and focus damage receive minus 70%, but burn damage receive plus 50%. So... We don't want to be go bumping into any Witch Kings while using these uh, Lasses of Trees here. Moving on to the third skill is going to be Regrowth. Now, Regrowth is healing received plus 50% extra. More units are converted into wounded soldiers after battle. So, um, Gandalf the Grey, Radagast, excellent mix here uh, to be using these troops with those healing commanders. And then the last one here we have Remedy. Um, which it says healing received plus 30% and deals an additional 15% damage against a random enemy when being healed. Once again, it could be that it has four skills or it could be because it's an elite uh, skill. But either way, that is pretty awesome there once again. Moving on for the last one is, for the good side again, the Depth Defenders. Now these guys are pretty interesting so they're going to have a unit per command of 50 with an attack of melee. Now their damage of 40 to 50 is excellent with great HP of 80 with 35 defense. Speed 85, not too bad. And 40 siege is really good as well, especially with 50 command. Now hiring costs um, with the food and stuff there is quite reasonable. And the gold is the same as well. It's around 6200 and the 23 minute mark. So... It looks like the good side over the evil side is definitely going to be a lot quicker. Moving on to the skills, the first skill we have is Destroy Equipment, which each attack reduces enemies damage dealt and defense by 50%. The strength of the effect is based on the commander's proportion of his units in the army. So that is very interesting. Moving on to the second skill, we have Sworn Enemy. After receiving burn damage, normal attack damage turns into burn damage and damage dealt plus 50% for the rest of the battle. Okay, so we're going to be taking extra damage, but you're going to be doing a lot more extra damage. Very interesting. We then have Expose Weakness, which against enemies that are inflicted with madness or stun, damage dealt plus 40%. So um, that's really good early on if you're using like a Gandalf. Um, that does stun in the early rounds, um, or even inflicting madness, you're going to be doing extra damage. That's really good if you've got a commander that does a lot of extra commander damage as well while they're affected by the stun or madness. The last one here we have is Light Armor, which once again, I believe, would definitely be one of these elite skills. It makes sense, Light Armor. I think this is possibly a tier 1 skill. Um, damage received from enemy melee units 20% and you can see it's light armor so I think this is the light armor skill um, so this would be a level 1 skilling which is to do with armor so yeah very interesting last before we wrap it up guys we do have a new boss which is going to be watcher in the water pretty awesome I'm pretty sure we all know this fella from the Lord of the Rings movies so it's going to be really cool. He's going to be popping up in the rivers and water sources around the map of Middle-earth. So that's going to be pretty awesome. I can't wait to um, battle him. And yeah, it's going to be quite fun. But yeah, guys, that's all the stats and skills that we have for you today. That's all the new units that's going to be coming into the game with a new boss. Uh, I'm really looking forward to it. Hopefully we can bring you some information soon with all the skills and everything of a sealed door. Who knows, EJ may have seen them or not, you don't know. Um, but um, if they publicly come out, we will break down and do a video about it. If not, I have all the information for you as soon as the season is ready or I'm allowed to release. Um, all I could probably say is Isildur looks insane. But yeah, guys, we're going to wrap it up. So until next time, peace out, EJ's out. 
and I'll catch you guys later. See yous. Thousands of the EJU.